Hey friends, Carrie here with the School of Grace. This week I have another movement activity for us. We are going to be using balance, coordination, and strong muscles to help us see if we can move our bodies like animals. What you're going to need is some space to move around, so maybe outside is a good space, or just make sure that if you fall over or lose your balance that you're not going to run into anything and hurt yourself. Um, this is a lot of fun and you can incorporate these moves into the game of animal rescue that we did last week. Um, our goal that when we start, I'm going to show you the animal and then I want you to think about how does that animal move? Does it move sideways? Does it move on all fours? Does it hop? So just think about that animal before you start. So I'm gonna tell you the animal, we're gonna think about how it moves, and then we're gonna show you how we're moving. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay friends, make sure that you have enough space to move around without running into anything. Um, you want to make sure that you are thinking about how this animal moves before you start moving your body. And you wanna see if you can move in a forward direction and then go backwards. Again, be safe, make sure that you're not gonna run into anything. We don't want anybody getting hurt. Penguin, how does a penguin move? Does it waddle? Does it jump? Do they fly? Okay, so as you can see that we have come outside on our porch, so we have plenty of room to move. We're gonna kind of start right here and then we have an, a turnaround point, which is going to be the railing in the back. So we're gonna start with our first animal and it's going to be a penguin. So how does a penguin move? Let's see. So a penguin waddles. All right, girls, turn around and waddle to <laughs> good waddling. A frog. Hmm, how does a frog move? Okay, this time a frog, what's a frog do? A frog leaps. Leaps? All right, let's do some frog jumps. Inchworm, this is a fun one. An inchworm will move the front of its body out and then the back will catch up and then move the front out, and then the back end will catch up. Hey, this one's tricky. This is an inchworm. How does an inchworm move? An inchworm, like, um, like, like I don't remember. Um, so you're gonna, like, pose it like this with your feet close to here, and then you're gonna do this. Good. He inches his body along. And remember, don't move your hands the same time as your feet. I don't really your feet the same time as Okay, keep going. Oh, just try. See how far you can go. There you go, pick your feet up. There you go. Gorilla. For gorilla, we're going to spread our feet wide and move kind of a sideways shuffle. Okay, this time a gorilla. How does a gorilla move? So, a gorilla moves. So you're going to squat down, put your hands on your knees, and then you're going to, just going to shuffle. All right. Kangaroo, this is another jumping one. Big jumps with both feet. Okay, this time a kangaroo. Kangaroo? Mm hmm. What's so a kangaroo do? A kangaroo hops. Ha, ha. So, so you're gonna have your feet out like those kangaroo's big feet, and then um, you're going to have your arms tucked in. And like you will have tiny arms. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Shaking the house. 
duck. For these duck walks, we're gonna get really low and waddle out and back. Okay, now we have another kind of bird. We have a duck. How does a duck go? So you're going to squat down like this, um, and then you're going to tuck your hands in like this, and then you're going to... There you go. Duck walks. The duck also kind of waddles. Slow is okay. Crab. How does a crab walk? He kind of scurries sideways. All right, this time we also have a crab. How does a crab walk? Okay, so you're going to, if you know yoga, you're going to get into bed position and then you're just going to walk. Yep. Crabs move sideways. Uh. Bear. How does a bear move? You seem to get have be on all fours and very low to the ground. Can you crawl like a bear? Okay, girls, last one before the ice cream truck gets here. Bear. How does a bear move? So we're going to, um, so we're not going to do it like this, like an intro. We're just going to have it like a claw, but with your knees on the ground. Like this. Good. You're going to stay low to the ground. Good work, girls. Thank you. Thanks for showing everyone how we move our bodies like the animals do. You're welcome. Bye. Okay, friends, I hope you had fun. I wonder what other animals you can think of how they move, maybe a snake or a dog. Uh, if you think of anything, let me know. I'm curious to hear. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.